Hey Aries, what's going on? It's Natalie here, back with a message for you guys. Hope everyone is doing well. So this reading is going to be for Aries placement, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. If you have Aries anywhere in your chart, this reading may resonate for you or it could resonate for the cross watcher. So please put yourself in the situation that belongs to you. All right, so let's see what's going on with Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Give me three cards, please, for the sign of Aries. Okay. So Aries, we got sacrifice here. Put us please for Aries. Something has to be let go of for the sake of something. Okay, yeah, true offering. And delusion. Grief in the reverse. Okay. I'm getting two things here. Either someone has to let you go or someone has to give up something about themselves in order to make something work. All right, let's see. What is this talking about for Aries? There could be like a prideful man who has to let go of the idea that he needs to be chased. That's what I'm getting for this energy. I feel like there's a prideful man letting the idea go that he, that he should be chased by you, Aries, or this could be vice versa. Let's see. Sacrifice. Why sacrifice here? Why is the sacrifice here, please, for Aries? Because you might not. You might let someone go. Page of Swords reverse. Ace of Cups reverse. And the Four of Pentacles reverse. The Six of Pentacles. Yeah, I do sense that someone is being kind of childish. But all they're doing is hurting themselves here when they're being childish. So I feel like someone is learning how to just let something go. They're not going to be childish anymore. Or they're not going to be boisterous or do this thing where, like, they're watching you to see what you're doing, okay? I feel like they're ruining the relationship by doing this, okay? Clarify true offering for Aries. I feel like you've let this person go. Five of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, and the King of Wands. Yeah, Two of Cups reverse, the Lovers reverse, the Hierophant reverse, Nine of Cups. Okay. Hmm. What's delusion here for Aries? Eight of Wands, Six of Wands Reverse, and the Queen of Pentacles. So this is an attractive man, right? He may have like a lot of suitors or people that want to fight over him or he just feels like he's the prize, right? But I feel like he's going to lose his true prize here if he doesn't stop being this way, okay? Someone is like very attractive or like they go after what they want, but there's an energy of like, Aries, I guess someone wants you to like fight for them or compete for them. I don't feel like you're doing this. I feel like this person is very delusional uh, thinking that you're going to do this, okay? Um, this person could be an earth sign or you could be an earth sign or have earth placements. What's the four of pentacles reverse for Aries? Like you really let this person go. Death in the reverse. The eight of cups reverse. And the Three of Swords reverse. Yeah, someone is like, okay, wait, wait a minute. I can heal this. Two of Swords is here with the Queen of Wands. Yeah, someone wasn't seeing like... I feel like someone sees that you're their match, but they try to like put up a front, okay? Like they don't really know that they can be sacrificed at any minute or they could be let go at any minute. You're not liking the way this person is acting right now. This person is acting like... They're showing signs of someone that's like... Um, they got their back turn towards you or something and you're over here the queen of pentacles energy just taking care of your home you're being very grounded you're not getting up off your throne for anybody so now they feel defeated what's the king of wands it's like they, they want to be put first so this could be a karmic aries what's the king of wands for aries four of 
Four of Wands reverse, the Ace of Swords reverse, and the Wheel of Fortune reverse. Yeah. The Tower. So this person had a poor judgment or something about you. There's separation here. What's the uh, Queen of Pentacles? It's like you're on a totally different page in this person, Aries. What's the Queen of Pentacles for Aries? Yeah, Temperance, you're at peace. Queen of Cups reversed and the Strength here. The Seven of Wands. Yeah, someone is being selfish around you, uh, Aries. They feel like they should uh they feel like they should be taking up all your time or something, but you're not acting like that. I'm also getting there's a female out here. She's very like delusional or something. She could be comparing herself to you. But you're actually stronger than her. So it looks like this masculine is mistaking you for somebody else, obviously. It's like the, both of these people are delusional. What's the three of swords reverse? Yeah, the queen of wands. You will definitely let go of this person. The ten of wands reverse and the hierophant reverse. You will definitely rebel. You're not going to... Uh, this man wants you to like kiss their feet, basically. You're not doing that, Aries. This person isn't, they are really attracted to you. I feel like you guys are supposed to be together, but it's giving me like, they got the wrong idea about what you're supposed to be doing in the relationship. What's the uh, Wheel of Fortune reverse? They have to come get you, not you go get them. What's the Wheel of Fortune reverse for Aries? Nine of Swords reverse, 10 of Pentacles reverse, and the Page of Cups reverse. Four of Cups. <sighs> What's Strength Reverse? Okay, so we have... Okay, yeah. I don't like this energy here. This person is very immature. So you're closing the cycle out on them, Aries. I don't know who this is for. Could be for you or for them. There's a man here that just feels like they can never be sacrificed or like they're very delusional here. Like you should never rebel against them or something. They may come back around and apologize, but I'm not really getting much of, I don't know. I feel like you just don't really care too much about this relationship, Aries. This person isn't understanding that they're being let go. That's what I'm getting for this. You don't care. You'll move on to the next. You may have a lot of suitors or something. What's some good advice for this reading for Aries? We have give here. It said, one of the best feelings we can experience is giving to others. When we do so, we feel lifted up and our lives improve greatly. Thinking because of someone else's happiness. Think of one way you can give to another today. I feel like you gave this person away to somebody. <laughs> I feel like you gave it to the you gave this man to this Queen of Cups reverse, and like uh, this masculine is not happy about it. He's not happy that he you're giving them away. You're letting somebody have them. Okay, yeah, we have allow here. You're being asked to open your energy field and take down your walls of protection in order to allow goodness in your life. Sometimes without even realizing it, we block ourselves from the flow of life. It's safe to open yourself back up. They want you to like uh, keep your energy away from people too. Give me one more please for Aries. What is this? What's the advice for Aries? But no, you're very allowing. Yes, yeah, surrender is here. You're being asked to let go of your need to control each part of your life and surrender to the universe. Control is an illusion and it's exhausting to try to hold on to it. Let it go and allow yourself to enjoy the relief that comes from doing so. You're not controlling this person. It's like this person's weird. They want you to try to control them or something. You're not doing that. Okay, Aries, this is your reading.
hope this resonated for you. If it did, go ahead and like, subscribe, share to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.